Welcome to the extracts of How to Do the Work by Nicole Lepre. Recognize your patterns, heal from your past, and create yourself. Dr. Nicole Lepre began to experience alarming warning signs from her body, signaling that something was amiss. The burden of chronic gut problems, persistent headaches, unexplained fainting spells, brain fog, and constant anxiety weighed heavily on her. Conventional methods of treatment, involving antidepressants and pain relievers like paracetamol, proved ineffective in addressing her conditions. It became evident that a more profound approach was needed. In pursuit of her own healing, Dr. Lepra took a leap, revamping her role as a psychologist entirely. She embraced a comprehensive and holistic methodology, integrating physical and spiritual elements into her practice. Recognizing the intricate connection between mind, body, and spirit, she embarked on a journey to heal herself and discover true well-being. Now, she shares her profound knowledge with those seeking solace from burnout, trauma, and dissociation. If you, too, yearn to unlock the path to genuine healing and growth, Dr. Nicole Lepper's transformative insights are the beacon you've been searching for. Join us on this journey of self-discovery and learn to heal, grow, and thrive. Before we begin, we publish new content every week. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest extracts. Extract 1, From Oatmeal Tears to Self-Healer, Dr. Nicole Lepra's Journey to Holistic Healing Dr. Nicole Lepra's spiritual awakening didn't happen on a mountaintop or within the walls of a sacred place. It occurred over a bowl of oatmeal, where tears flowed uncontrollably during a holiday with her girlfriend. Despite her seemingly successful life as a clinical psychologist with a thriving practice, a loving partner, and a comfortable home, Lepra felt a profound sense of discontentment and burnout within. The realization that something wasn't working in her life sparked a transformative journey towards holistic healing. Recognizing the limitations of mainstream psychology, Lepra sought a more comprehensive approach that addressed the interconnectedness of the body, mind, and soul. Through consistent exercise, nourishing meals, breath work, and meditation, she prioritized her physical well-being. In parallel, Lepra confronted her childhood trauma, allowing herself to process negative emotions and heal her inner child. The profound results of her efforts manifested in newfound emotional and physical strength, and she began sharing her experiences on Instagram as a holistic psychologist. As her account gained traction, it became evident that she was fulfilling a profound need. Today, over 3 million people follow her work, embracing the title of self-healers and journeying alongside Dr. Nicole Lepra toward holistic well-being and self-discovery. Extract 2, The Mind-Body Connection, Holistic Psychology and Self-Healing Imagine being handed a pill with the promise that all your feelings of depression will vanish if you take it. You comply, and surprisingly, you begin to feel better. Later, you discover that it was just a sugar pill all along. This phenomenon is known as the placebo effect, where people experience significant improvements in various conditions solely because they believe they are receiving treatment. The reason this works lies in the profound connection between our minds and bodies. To heal one, we must heal the other, and vice versa. For centuries, the mind-body paradigm separated mental and physical health, leading people to seek psychologists for mental issues and other doctors for physical ailments. However, cutting-edge research shows that this separation is flawed. Innovative studies reveal that our gut health profoundly influences our mental well-being, and even genetic predispositions can be influenced by environmental factors such as stress, sleep, diet, and relationships. Epigenetics, a burgeoning field, suggests that we can influence the activation or deactivation of genes through lifestyle changes, potentially preventing certain illnesses from developing. While we cannot control all aspects of life, holistic psychology acknowledges the impact of systemic oppression, such as racism and discrimination. It encourages individuals to practice self-healing within their unique circumstances. 
Unlike the traditional approach where patients are passive recipients of medical advice, holistic psychology empowers people to take an active role in healing themselves. No quick fixes or magic pills exist, but the journey of self-healing may be challenging and arduous. However, the reward is immense, the satisfaction of taking control of one's well-being. Embark on a transformative journey of understanding the mind-body connection and the power of self-healing. Discover how holistic psychology can empower you to become an active participant in your own well-being. Embrace discomfort and challenges, knowing that on the other side lies the fulfillment of taking charge of your life and health. Extract 3. Awakening Awareness, Breaking Free from Mental Autopilot Jessica's impending marriage to her longtime boyfriend had her riding an emotional roller coaster. At times, she felt certain it was the right decision, while at others, she deemed him a jerk and couldn't bear his presence. Jessica was unknowingly controlled by the constant stream of thoughts in her head. Similarly, we all experience a multitude of thoughts every day, ranging from critical to content. While there's nothing inherently wrong with these thoughts, we must recognize that they aren't always accurate reflections of reality, nor do they define who we truly are. Many of us live on autopilot, navigating through routines without pausing to question our actions and thoughts. Brain scans reveal that we're only consciously aware for about 5% of the day, with the rest being dominated by our subconscious minds. Breaking away from these familiar patterns often creates mental resistance, leaving us feeling uncomfortable and restless. However, merely living on autopilot is no comfort either. It keeps us trapped in childhood patterns and restricts our ability to make significant changes. The solution lies in cultivating awareness of ourselves and the world around us. For Jessica, embarking on a yoga practice proved transformative. Through disciplined poses and self-care, she found the space to examine her thought patterns, becoming less reactive and identifying her underlying grief and fears affecting her relationship. Cultivating awareness can start with small steps, such as taking a minute each day to fully engage with your surroundings. By observing and appreciating your environment and senses, you begin to break free from autopilot. It may feel uncomfortable initially, but with practice, it leads to profound benefits. Ultimately, you'll realize that you have thoughts rather than being defined by them. Extract 4. Unraveling Childhood Trauma, Healing and Reconnecting with Our Authentic Selves In her quest to recollect memories of her childhood, the author is faced with a multitude of fuzzy half-memories, struggling to recall pivotal moments and recognize familiar faces. The reason behind this puzzle is her dissociation during most of her formative years. Despite being physically present, she was mentally checked out, unable to connect with her own emotions or understand her feelings. Dissociation serves as a coping mechanism when individuals feel overwhelmed and powerless, and the author's childhood experiences have left a lasting impact. The underlying message is clear, healing begins with acknowledging childhood trauma. On the surface, the author's boisterous Italian family appeared happy and normal, but tension and bickering permeated the household. With her mother suffering from untreated anxiety and her siblings dealing with chronic illnesses, the young author felt unable to express her emotions and invisible to those around her. Her coping mechanism involved retreating into a self-created dissociated spaceship. Many of us carry similar childhood traumas, often overlooked as insignificant but with profound consequences for emotional well-being in adulthood. Children absorb their parents' fears and anxieties, mirroring their coping strategies. The pivotal question arises, were our feelings acknowledged and our reality affirmed during childhood? Or were we told to toughen up and suppress our emotions, leading to dissociation or acting out to seek attention? Childhood trauma can stem from parents who lack boundaries, invading their children's privacy and sharing inappropriate information. Additionally, parents struggling to regulate their emotions may exhibit volatility or detachment as coping mechanisms. 
These experiences alienate children from their intuition and authentic selves, leading them to doubt their beliefs and contort themselves to please their parents. The author's healing journey involved confronting this primal wound, leading to the development of new adaptive coping strategies that supported her well-being. This book offers hope and guidance for others seeking to heal their own childhood traumas and reconnect with their true selves. Extract 5. Disarming Survival, Finding Balance Amidst Stress and Threats Imagine being a rabbit in the wild, chased by a hungry fox, heart pounding, and running for your life. Animals have a fight, flight, or freeze response when facing threats, with adrenaline surging, heart rate speeding up, and shallow breathing. Humans share these responses, our brain's fear center, the amygdala, activates our autonomic nervous system to enter survival mode when perceiving danger. While essential for survival, trauma survivors may start sensing threats everywhere, keeping their survival systems on high alert, wreaking havoc on their bodies. The key message is clear, we must learn to disarm our survival systems. Chronic stress floods the body with cortisol, making others seem more threatening and hampering relationship building and clear thinking. Though involuntary, we can take steps to calm our bodies. Controlling our breathing, taking deep belly breaths during stress, has an instant calming effect. Physical exercise, releasing feel-good hormones like dopamine, is effective in reducing stress, benefiting heart and mental health. Yoga, engaging mind and body, serves as an excellent de-stressor. Mental health is connected to our gut, with 500 million gut neurons communicating with the brain. Inflammation from sugar and processed food has links to severe conditions like depression. Opting for nutritious whole foods and fermented options supports gut health and reduces inflammation. Lastly, focusing on getting enough sleep is crucial in reducing stress levels. During sleep, our brains flush out debris and our cells regenerate, promoting overall well-being. Embracing these practices allows us to nurture both our mental and physical health, empowering us to lead happier and more fulfilling lives. So, let's prioritize disarming our survival systems and embracing a balanced and healthy lifestyle. Extract 6. Healing Core Beliefs, Reparenting Your Inner Child for Positive Transformation have you ever found yourself thinking, I don't matter, or nobody cares about me? These thoughts are examples of core beliefs that take shape during childhood and profoundly influence how we perceive ourselves and our lives. Our brains act as powerful filters, seeking evidence that supports our negative core beliefs, a phenomenon known as confirmation bias. When we hold on to negative beliefs like feeling worthless, we tend to dwell on criticism and ignore praise undermining our own achievements as mere luck. These negative core beliefs seep into our relationships, leading us to test our partners and impacting various aspects of our lives. However, becoming aware of these negative core beliefs and taking the necessary steps to heal can trigger a significant shift in our mindset and perspective on the world. To alter these deep-rooted beliefs about ourselves, it is essential to revisit our past, particularly our early childhood experiences. Our inner child often carries wounds from our parent-child relationships. When children experience secure bonds with their parents, they develop emotional resilience and the confidence to explore the world independently. On the other hand, inconsistent or unavailable parental affection can lead to feelings of desperation or detachment, shaping our core beliefs about self-worth. To heal these wounds, reparenting becomes a powerful tool. By providing ourselves with loving discipline, fulfilling promises made to ourselves, prioritizing self-care, and regulating our emotions, we earn the trust of our inner child. This process allows us to acknowledge and validate our authentic needs and emotions, gradually replacing painful beliefs with healthier ones. In this journey of reparenting, we can discover profound transformation and start embracing a more positive and empowered version of ourselves. Extract 7. Building Strong Boundaries, The Key to Empowering Relationships 
Susan found herself trapped in a cycle of being a perpetual doormat for her friends and family. She selflessly absorbed their emotional drama without ever considering her own feelings. Her lack of boundaries stemmed from a childhood marked by an emotionally controlling mother who invaded her privacy. Realizing she needed to break free to salvage her well-being and relationships, Susan embarked on a journey of self-discovery. Many of us can relate to growing up in families like Susan's, where love is equated with constant togetherness. However, she learned that true loving relationships are built on a foundation of healthy boundaries. Prioritizing authentic needs, even if they differ from others, is essential to avoid resentment and maintain well-being. To cultivate these boundaries, Susan recognized three distinct types. First, physical boundaries allowed her to assert bodily autonomy and self-care practices. The second, resource boundaries, enabled her to value her time and money and be intentional about those she let into her life. Finally, mental and emotional boundaries empowered her to create space for her own thoughts, feelings, and beliefs, breaking free from the enmeshment of her past. Creating and maintaining boundaries wasn't easy, as some people resisted change and tried to guilt-trip her into maintaining the status quo. However, by preparing in advance and regulating her emotions, Susan asserted her boundaries during emotionally neutral moments, fortifying her relationships and paving the way to emotional freedom. Extract 8. Self-Healing, Embracing Transformation and Building a Loving Community as humans, our fundamental need for connection shapes our well-being, making the journey of healing both daunting and rewarding. Stepping away from familiar patterns and challenging established norms in relationships can lead to the fear of rejection from family and friends, deterring many from embracing transformation. However, the key revelation lies in the fact that self-healing doesn't isolate you, it empowers you to foster a supportive and loving community. Trauma can leave us on high alert, perceiving others as threats and hindering meaningful connections. Existing relationships may mirror our emotional dysregulation, leading to painful trauma bonds with those who share similar wounds. Though comforting to a traumatized mind, these bonds merely perpetuate emotional addiction without true fulfillment. Self-healing empowers us to navigate difficult emotions, not only our own but also those of others. Instead of avoiding or distracting from feelings, we learn to process them, paving the way for co-regulation. By emanating calmness, love, and clarity, we influence our environment and receive mirrored positivity in return. Dr. Leper's courageous decision to distance herself from her birth family for healing and self-discovery ultimately strengthened her relationships, including with her partner and friends. Beyond that, she formed a global family of millions united in the pursuit of self-healing. Join this transformative journey and unlock the power of self-healing, paving the way for authentic connections in a loving, interdependent community worldwide. Final Summary Thank you for joining us on this transformative journey through How to Do the Work by Dr. Nicole Lepra. The key message from these powerful extracts is clear. We all possess the remarkable ability to heal ourselves. By acknowledging the deep connection between our physical, psychological, and spiritual well-being, we pave the path to true transformation. Taking small, actionable steps can lead to profound changes in our lives. Remember, we're creatures of habit, and embracing gradual change allows us to make lasting improvements. Start by committing to just one positive habit, such as drinking a glass of water in the morning or taking a short walk daily. As you consistently follow through with your commitment, you'll develop self-trust and a strong foundation for further growth. Your journey towards healing and self-discovery doesn't have to be a solo endeavor. We value your thoughts and feedback on our content. Share your experiences and book recommendation in the comment section. Together, we can continue to support each other in this pursuit of self-healing and empowerment. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay connected with our empowering content. Let's create a community that thrives on the path of self-discovery and well-being.
Until next time, remember that the power to heal lies within you. Keep doing the work, and may your journey be filled with growth and love.